Hi, I'm Missy, and I'm going to explain some things you need to know about butt weld fittings. Butt weld fittings are used to change and redirect piping systems. The term butt weld is used to describe the beveled end at the end of each fitting. Each fitting typically has a beveled end on each end, and these fittings have schedules just like the pipe to which they're welded. 90 degree elbows are also called 90s and they're manufactured long radius and short radius. The long radius usually has a center to face dimension of one and a half times the diameter. The short radius 90 will have center to face dimension of one times the diameter. A 45 degree elbow is also called a 45, a 45 bend, and 45 L's. And these are usually made long radius. Next are concentric reducers. Concentric reducers are used to join pipe together in a conical form, as you can see right here. And these are used in pipe reduction. Eccentric reducers are also used to join pipe together. However, it's manufactured with the smaller outlet a little bit off center. Next, you also have T's, which are in the shape of a T. And what it is, is it has two outlets at a 90 degree with a branch, which is off of the center. There are also reducing T's, and reducing T's will have the branch right here, where the reduction goes right here into the pipe system. A cross is a lot like a T, but it has four equal sides. Some people refer to it as a four-way T instead of a cross. Then you also have caps. Caps are used to close the end of a line. It just goes on the end of a piece of pipe or a fitting, and it closes off the line. Next, you'll have stub ends. A stub end accommodates a lap joint or a slip-on flange and it's used where a welded flange in place is not desired. They come in different types, types A, types B, and type C. Type A will have an outer corner that is radius to fit a lap joint flange and they will butt up something like this. In carbon steel, you will often see A234 WPB. The body is seamless and sizes up to 24 inch. In carbon, you will also encounter high yield material, which is MSS SP75 with WPH Y42, Y52, Y60, Y65, and Y80. On the stainless steel side of the spectrum, you're going to have ASTM 304, 304L, ASTM 316, 316L, and you will frequently see these fittings as they come welded and seamless. This should help with your basic butt weld fittings. MSI can provide you with your butt weld fitting needs in any grade and size up to 72 inch. For more information about our company, go to msisupply.com. There you can also find more information about our after hour services. And don't forget, we're your resource when you have questions regarding material and your source to get your material purchased and delivered correctly.